how often we see that an interviewee a job aspirant or a candidate sitting for a specific job has been subjected to ask to sell a pen and it is so dicey a situation because we have never planned for it we have never prepared for it and now it is there this question staring at us and trying to figure out as to what we be quoting across so let's try for all those sales and marketing guys in fact interview is selling yourself so sell yourself effectively how selling me this pen is a tricky interview question that might come up in a sales job or a marketing job it aims to assess your sales skills and how you perform under pressure now this particular shoot covers why this type of question is asked gives five example to you and offers a range of tips on how to produce a winning answer so all set but let us now understand like why do interviewers ask this question at all if you are interviewing for a sales position this question or something similar to it would definitely come up employers ask this question because it shows them several key competencies that they are likely looking for in a job candidate your ability to sell the pen or any item shows the interviewer that kind of sales skills you have and whether you can think on your feet how you converse with the interviewer reveals your communication skills the interviewer also wants to see if you have enthusiasm for the challenge or whether you shy away ultimately it shows the interviewer whether or not you are someone who can genuinely sell how to respond to this question there's no right answer to this question there are many different ways to sell a product and what works for one person may not work for another how you respond will also depend on the answers your interviewer is giving you so listen and be prepared to change it up you may find you need to change tactics halfway through your skill but it's important to keep trying no matter what now we we'll lay down some key tips for how to respond to sell me this pen show some enthusiasm first of all don't let your interviewer see you sweat any good sales person is enthusiastic about the product believes in their product and makes their customer believes in it too a smile goes a long way towards putting both you and your customer more at ease maintain eye contact and show your customer that you are listening and are interested in what they have to say be positive and polite nod laugh and make them feel comfortable and as enthusiastic for your product as you are find out your customers needs bottom line ultimately any sale depends on knowing your buyer if your buyer doesn't need or want what you are selling your deal is over so why should they buy your pen start by asking questions to understand your customers needs what kind of pen have they asked before what do they like to use pens for how could their pens improve open ended questions are best since they give your customer a chance to provide lots of information use whatever information the customer gives you to try and make a sale even if they seem negative find out why and adjust your sales pitch to show them why this pen is different so identify the features of the pen that meets the customer's needs once you have better understanding of your customer's needs you can begin to point out the features of your pen that might appeal to them maybe it holds extra ink so it lasts longer maybe it has an anti slide grip so you don't drop it maybe it comes in different colors so you don't always have to use black or blue whatever features you can think of that your customer might appreciate use them appeal to your customers emotions people don't always buy things because they need them but rather because they want them your customer likely has many pens and doesn't need another one to hook your customer find a way to make them feel emotionally attached maybe they used to help their mother make grocery lists with a pen 
maybe they used to keep a diary that they wrote in with a special pen or maybe they still hold on to the pen they used to sign their marriage certificate try to make your customer want the pen you are selling by evoking any emotions they may have that relate to pens overcome objections because your interviewer is going to want to treat this as a real sales experience they may not be receptive at all of your sales attempts they may consistently tell you no they don't like pens they don't want pens and they have no use for them the most important thing is not to appear flustered or thrown off balance we focus on your goal of selling the pen and try to find a way to move the conversation back in that direction make the same five examples now that we have given you some tips on how to get your customer to this point here are five examples of how to make the sale example number 1 interviewer please send me this pen you sure if you could just quickly sign this refund slip i can go about getting your back your money on then pen you bought last interviewer patch pockets i'm sorry i don't seem to have anything to sign with you brings out the pen oh i happen to have a pen right here i could sell it to you for say 1 pound that way you can sign your slip and get all that money back interviewer sold what you have done here is create a need that is greater than the customer's desire to say no to buying a pen they had a need you had the product a simple sale example number 2 interviewer please sell me this pen you hello i'm here from the pretty pen company and would love to tell you about our pens interviewer i'm not interested i have so many pens i've been through a lot you oh may i ask you why you go through so many interviewer well i am an editor i mark up pages all day long i find that i am always to get a new pen because mine has run out of ink you well what if i were to tell you that our new pens have an extra big reservoir of ink and can last twice as long interviewer really well okay i'll give them to try as this sale depended on using some questions to find out what the customer's negative issue was with their current pen once you got post that you can easily sell them a pen that is going to improve their position example number 3 interviewer please sell me this pen you hello i am visiting from the pretty pen company and would love to tell you about our pens interviewer i am not interested we already have a pen supplier and we don't need any more you Oh so you are completely satisfied with your pens interviewer yes i am you okay because right now we have a great sale on where we are putting company logos on the pens free of charge in fact your competitor down the street just look advantage of this offer interviewer looks interested really you yes and not only are they great for you and your staff to use but they are also great to hand out to clients interviewer sold this sales tactic appealed more to the customers wants rather than their needs clearly they did not need a new pen but upon hearing that the competitor had agreed to buy the pens and better ones than theirs they quickly changed their mind suggesting that the pens can also be used as corporate gifts gives you an edge as the pen now has increased value number 4 interviewer please sell me this pen you hi my name is manish nayar what a lovely home you have interviewer thank you i don't have a lot of time so i'm sorry but i'm going to have to cut this short you i couldn't help but notice a beautiful stationery on your desk do you write interviewer i used to quite a bit but then i guess i just stopped doing it you so it's a past time that you really enjoy interviewer it was i have to admit and i do miss it you well what would you say if i told you i have the perfect pen to go with the stationery to make some new memories interviewer i would say i'm sold this sales tactic plays an emotions of the buyer the buyer has been reminded of how much they love to write letters and they now associate that feeling with a new pen number 5 interviewer please sell me this pen you hi my name is my manish nayar let me show you what i have in pens interviewer i don't care i'm not interested you even though my pens have long lasting ink interviewer sorry no not interested you well our new design is leak proof 
so you don't have to worry about ruining any clothes or smudging interviewer look i'm sorry i really don't care you well maybe a new padded grip would entice you no more finger marks from holding your pen too tightly interviewer cut you off i'm sorry i'm really not interested you should probably leave i still have another piles of tests to mark and it's taking me quite a while oh i'm sorry what seems to be taking so long interviewer well there are essay questions and i like to mark different mistakes in different colors grammar mistakes in red punctuation in green and so on so forth it means changing pens often you ah but what if i had a pen that could write in many different colors same pen interview well i would be really interested it's important not to give up at the first no by persevering you have found out that although some of the pens features didn't appeal there was one that did resulting in the sale top tips for success plan ahead if you are interviewing for a sales position it is likely that this type of question is going to be asked make sure you have some answers prepared ask questions remember that your customer needs and wants are key if you can find out what they are you can make the sale don't give up the one thing you shouldn't do is back down at least give it your best effort and you may surprise yourself don't be negative or unwilling to take part final thoughts remember that staying positive keeping calm not quitting at the first no and finding out as much information as possible will help you land your sale if you believe in your product and do everything you can to transfer that belief to your customer you have made the sale now learn the art and the skill of being a good sales person i'm sure this might help you a lot be best prepared thank you